Welcome to Save 2020. I'm Elise Morales, and today we're breaking down women's rights. And by that, I mean explaining what's going on with them, not literally breaking them down. Sorry to any of our Republican fans. This is America. Yeah. Oh, shit. Protect your fellow citizens. Not only was 2020 the worst year to have a racist idiot as president, but it also marked 100 years since the passage of the 19th Amendment, granting some women the right to vote. And since then, there has been a ton of progress for women's rights. The approval of birth control in 1960, Shirley Chisholm becoming the first woman to run for the Democratic nomination for president in 1972, the Equal Credit Opportunity Act of 1974, which gave women access to credit cards in their own name, which in my case was kind of a blessing and a curse. The Equal Pay Act of 1963 and the Roe vs. Wade victory in 1973. Our first female Supreme Court Justice, Sandra Day O'Connor, getting sworn into office in 1981. And in September of that same year, Tina Knowles birthed the legend who would later be internationally known as the Queen Beyonce. All of which culminated in 2016, when the first woman ever became a major party's nominee for president, Hillary Rodham Clinton. To quote Lady Gaga, there can be 100 people in a room and almost all of them are guaranteed to be a man. And just when we thought we were about to elect the first woman president of the United States, an orange-skinned con man who never grew out of his baby hands and a group of Russian hackers from the Bourne film snatched it away from us. And who would have thunk that four years could set back decades of hard work? I didn't, which is why I was at the Javits Center on election night 2016. It was horrible. Here's a review of all the fucked up shit Trump has done to women's rights. In his first 100 days, he cut funding to the UN Population Fund, which in 2016 alone prevented 947,000 unplanned pregnancies, 295,000 unsafe abortions, and 2,340 maternal deaths. Not to mention his repeated attacks on Planned Parenthood and his work to defund it. In January of this year, the current administration issued a proposal that would gut the agency's 2015 Affirmatively Furthering Fair Housing Rule, which primarily benefited women and people of color. And also this year, changing housing rules to exclude trans women and other gender non-conforming people from homeless shelters. And just this May, his administration removed the Obama-era Title IX protections for survivors of sexual assault on college campuses, making it even more difficult for survivors to come forward. Huh, I wonder why he would do that. And on top of all of that, he's installed more anti-choice and anti-woman judges to lifetime appointments than ever in history. With the help of Mitch McConnell, he has already appointed more justices in his first term than Obama did in all eight years. Remember these dudes? Wait, I can't recognize them. Oh, right, 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 right. Both of them just voted in favor of allowing employers to deny their employees birth control based on their religious freedom. Everybody loves to cry religious freedom when it comes to selling gay dudes a cake, but when I try to hex the moon with a spell that I learned on TikTok, my account gets suspended. And then there's the discourse. The dehumanizing language the president has used these past four years to describe and address women, specifically women of color, has set a precedent for young children that we will have to fight against for generations to come. Now imagine four Four more years of this. <gasps> Sorry, I just did and, and it was really scary. Increasing attempts to overturn Roe v. Wade in states like Louisiana, Georgia, Ohio, and Alabama, and the prospect of Donald Trump appointing another Supreme Court justice, Liz Stromers. The future of civil and reproductive rights in this country are in jeopardy. So if you are a woman or know a woman or have seen one walking down the street and thought, hey, she seems nice, vote like your life depends on it. Because it actually does, it depends on it. And make sure to keep Keep watching so you can help us save 2020, whatever's left of it.